Hey, I'm Nick with OnlineBusiness.tv, and in this video, we're going to look at some Kajabi websites. So I'm going to share 10 different websites that were built with Kajabi. If you use Kajabi like I do, or maybe if you don't use it and you're kind of exploring it, you can check out this link. It is an affiliate link. I do love Kajabi, even if you don't use my affiliate link, which gives me a commission if you sign up through there. That's fine. It's a great program. Whether you use my affiliate link or not, I do recommend it. But I thought we'd look at some different websites because I know one of the big things with Kajabi is that it can be used to build your whole website. So, And, and the downside of Kajabi is it's pretty expensive. But if you use it to host your website, you know, for your courses and your products, for your email marketing, for sales funnels, well, then sometimes you can afford it, right? Because you put all of it in that platform, and that's what it's designed to do. But the question is, can it make great looking websites. So we're going to jump in here. I'm going to share some different sites and we'll just take a look at them and I'll give my thought on these sites, the design. These are all built in Kajabi. So if you're thinking, you know, what kind of site can I create? You're going to get a sense for that here as we look at these sites. So let's start out with Maggie Lands MD, get, get eat fluenced. Are you stressed, discouraged, and confused about eating? Uh, this I'm showing you this site because I feel like this is a kind of a standard Kajabi website. Simple menu at the top, you know, logo here, uh, you know, big uh, kind of hero image, call to action right at the top. Again, this could be this could be a landing page, a sales page in Kajabi. You know, there's that one section, then we have this section here with a lead magnet, a uh, couple different points, right? We're just scrolling through these sections, another a chance to opt in with a lead magnet, and it's basically, you know, eight or so of those sections, and then the footer, and that's it. Pretty simple. And when you look at a lot of Kajabi sites, I would say this is pretty common. Very simple. It looks like it could be done in ClickFunnels. Certainly could be done in WordPress. Um, probably not my favorite designs. They're going to get better, I think, as we go. I saved some of my favorite ones for last. Because you really can create some, some good-looking, beautiful sites in Kajabi. But to me, this one is kind of standard. You know, like it's, it's not necessarily using a lot of the design features that you could put in there. This one is similar. The reason I show you this one, uh, Orthovated, Dot com is because you'll see that it has some motion. See how the box comes in there, the image, and then these boxes come up one at a time. This is something that people do on WordPress websites with uh, the Divi theme. That's the theme I use on our WordPress websites. And for full disclosure, I do not use Kajabi for our websites currently, but that's mostly because they've been built and established on WordPress, and we just it's not been a high priority to move those over to Kajabi. Plus, there are some other things I like. Uh, with plugins and different things on WordPress. But if you're going to think about building your site on Kajabi, or if you're just thinking about sales pages, it's good to see some examples like we're looking at here. So again, nice looking site, does use some different elements with motion and some things like that. This website, the Kenza Collective, uh, has a video up top. Not a lot of the sites I show you will have that, uh, but you can do that in Kajabi. It's one reason I wanted to show you this page. And I've got a call to action up top here. Always love that. Uh, you know, call to action here. This is just good, smart marketing. If you follow uh, the story brand method of marketing, you'll know how important that is to have a call to action at the top right, as well as the top middle as soon as you load the page. They're using some of the same things where some of the boxes are appearing, moving in, again, similar to what you can get in WordPress. Uh, the Beatitudes Project. What I like about this site is it's fairly clean, white backgrounds, very common now. A lot of people are doing that because, again, just trying to draw the focus to a call to action or, you know, what is this? And they do that right here at the top, right? They have a nice picture in the background, live life the Jesus way. They have a, a one-liner here. Again, this would be a story brand thing. Now, if it was story brand, there'd be a call to action right here, and there'd be one right here. Uh, but I like that it's a white background, clean site. They've embedded a video. Simple sections, right? If, if you're if you've got to feature some different voices on your website, like they do here, you can do that simply. A couple different content blocks to feature different things, and then kind of a standard footer. So again, nice, simple, clean site that you can create in Kajabi. This is where we're going to start getting into sites that I feel like have a little bit better design and overall feel. Uh, not surprising that a company called VH Design Co. has good design. But you, you'll see they have the same color scheme throughout the site. I think it creates a great look. It's very consistent. Uh, they use, you know, obviously created, took some great pictures to use on the site, which is just so important. But not that different from other sites, right? Just multiple sections stacked on top of each other. You know, great buttons for call to action. 
They can feature blog posts. So if you do want to you know, create a blog uh, on your Kajabi hosted site, you can do that. And just like they have here, they can feature those posts. Again, just like WordPress or Squarespace or Wix or anything like that. So I like this site because I just think it's really well done. That theme, that look all the way throughout. It's carried through the whole site. At the bottom, great footer. Sign up for the newsletter. They got the links that are important, but not as important. Okay, like the story brand method would tell you that the bottom is the junk, junk drawer. That's where you put all the links that you don't necessarily need to be featured up top. Up top, they're featuring um, some of these things. And it's, again, story brand would say you probably don't need about, you know, maybe not even blog, but courses and coaching and login, you know, like have the real key calls to action up top there. Earnthatbody.com. Uh, I have earned this body, by the way, just unfortunately with pizza and donuts. Uh, unfortunately, I've not earned this kind of body. And you'll see a lot of these examples. In fact, there's probably 10 sites that I was going to feature, but then I wanted to whittle it down to only 10. There's probably a, another 10 I left out, and half of them or more are about nutrition or fitness. So there's a lot of people in, that, in those uh, niches using Kajabi, obviously. One reason I want to show this is you can see this little pop-up here, this website uses cookies, you know, kind of standard thing we've all seen since GDPR came out. Uh, almost, I don't know about you, but like, I'm just annoyed by it. I was like, yes, whatever, just dismiss this and uh, use whatever cookies you want. I also want to show this because you can, if you're familiar with websites that do like a pop-up with a call to action or a lead magnet or something like that, um, you're, you might be wondering, does Kajabi work with that? Think of like Intercom or prove late or proof or just these different plugins you can put on your website to either show social proof like people buying your product or to chat or interact um, all of that can work with kajabi and you can see they're doing it here with the cookie um, notice there but you could do that with any of those things other than that again standard website social media at the bottom uh, looks pretty good Grant Cardone, you may have heard of Grant Cardone, big uh, name in real estate, and he has kind of like his own courses, and so his course page here is created with Kajabi. Uh, what I like about it is if you were going to make your website and it was mostly just going to be about the courses or coaching or whatever products you offer through Kajabi, this is a good example of that. This is not really a full-featured website. You know, it's not like his main website. You can see we're, um, well, you probably can't see it actually, but it's, we're a training dot grantcardone.com and so it's really just the courses so as we scroll down you'll see it's just a feature of all of the courses and offers so if your site just really needs to be a place to house all your courses and offers you could do this like they did here but you can see there's other elements at the bottom here very clean look uh, consistency great pictures all that stuff looks good Brendan Bouchard is one of the biggest names probably associated with Kajabi. Um, certainly has great success. One of the names you think of most if you know anything about Kajabi and who uses it, who are some of the big voices out there that use it. Uh, he is certainly one of those, maybe the, maybe the most popular one. And he's got a great website you know, built on Kajabi here. A good you know, lead magnet opt-in right at the top, which is always a good idea. As you scroll, you can see different blog posts featured. We talked about that. He features his programs here. Again, all looks great. Lots of stuff you can opt in for. And then the bottom of the website, other recent posts. I mean, this looks just like a WordPress site, doesn't it? With widgets at the bottom, if you're familiar with WordPress or anything like that, you can see what that looks like. So just a really good looking site uh, using Kajabi and you would never know it if uh, you didn't know anything about Kajabi. FullyRaw.com. Very similar to Brendan Bouchard's site, just a good looking site, great themes. I think one of my favorite parts about it is it's got bright colors. And again, it's in this nutrition fitness niche. Lots of links up here at the top. A call to action, you know, to get this free ebook, which again, having a good lead magnet call to action on our websites is always important. But I just like that it's really well designed, it's clean, at the same time, it's colorful. Like you can't tell, like compare this site to this first site that we looked at, a little more design, right? Like this is a little simpler and you can't necessarily say that there was a color scheme or some kind of design played throughout. Whereas if you come here, you can, right? You can feel 
that it, this feels consistent, it's bright, it's colorful, it uses the same colors all the way throughout. Got a video embedded there, which is great, certainly. And so I, I feel like this is one of the better looking sites that we've looked at in addition to Brendan's, Grant Cardone's. Uh, I think they all look great. And the last site here, Penny in Your Pocket, Dot com. Penny is known as one a creator of Kajabi themes, so if you need a great looking theme, I highly recommend you check out pennyinyourpocket.com. We'll link all these sites in the description, by the way. I know you can't see the uh, URL here as I'm sharing. Uh, we'll link them all down below if you want to check them out. And you might want to check out Penny's site because you could buy a Kajabi theme and some of her programs. She just has great stuff, but her site, not surprisingly, just looks good. Common theme, colors great pictures, uh, you know, menu up top here, login button. And as you scroll, you'll see that, that color scheme and that theme, they just continue. Look, stop the scroll. Sorry, not right now, Penny. Um, but it's just a good look. And you go from one section to the next, and it's it's not even a straight line. Like, she did a great job with the look there. And it, it just feels like it was designed by a graphic artist, right? And, and then made into a website. And I would say that most... Kajabi sites that I see don't have that feel. They're more like some of the sites we looked at in the beginning where it's just block sections after block section. And I get that because it's hard for me to do something like this. You really could use a designer or get a theme like one from Penny and then adapt it from there so you're not starting from scratch. So there you go, 10 websites built in Kajabi. So you, maybe you're thinking about moving to Kajabi. If you are, check out onlinebusiness.tv slash Kajabi. That's my affiliate link. Uh, I use Kajabi for two of my businesses. I love it. It's great. You don't have to use my affiliate link. I would encourage you to use Kajabi even if you didn't because it's a good product. But if you do use that link, you can get some free coaching from me. I'll help you however I can. I'm definitely not an expert. I have switched to it and used it for a while and used it most of the features in it. And so I'd love to help you get started if I can just use that link. And if this video has been helpful, hit the like button and hit subscribe for more videos about building your online business.